So come with us as we try not to get salmonella poisoning as we take a raw turkey onto the beach. I'd be more worried about it being covered in sand. Yeah, there will be sand also. <laughs> I don't want a sandy turkey. <laughs> uh, sandy turkey is what they used to call me in college. <laughs> Welcome back, campers. I'm Chris. And I'm Elizabeth. And I'm not looking at you right now because I'm driving a vehicle and that would be against the law. And we are headed to roast a turkey for Thanksgiving. So we're not doing it inside this year because on Guam, the power company has raised the base rate of the electric bill and we have an electric oven. And it's also really hot here for Thanksgiving. So maybe we're just gonna cook it outside over a fire and only burn about $100 with a vehicle and boat gas in the process. And we also get to bring beans with us today. So again, she doesn't usually go out on most of our adventures, but she gets to go out on this one. Three, four. Okay, so the ramp, a um, little messed up from some storms they were having, uh, so there was a lot of uh, rock and sand on the ramp, and and some of you guys have noticed in some of the recent videos that we've had um, a new vehicle, and we got an all-wheel drive, it's a Honda Ridgeline, it's, uh, it's like 12 or 13 years old, but new for us, but that's why we got it, slick boat ramps, that's been a big stress point for me anyway, we got a two-wheel drive truck with open differential, so really it's a one-wheel drive truck, and I'm always nervous on boat ramps that are covered in sand or are wet with moss or it's a really low tide and you got to go all the way down to the end of the ramp. So again, American dream, can't afford it, finance it. We financed a 12 year old vehicle, 13 year old vehicle uh -huh. um, to get some of that all wheel drive because that just saved us right there. Also at the time, our Ford, our 98 Ford was um, going back and forth between trying to die and so it's like in anticipation of that possibly happening we wouldn't have a truck at all to pull the boat or use the dirt bike or anything so it we it just needed to happen but everybody's good we got Mona in the boat she's super stoked and we've got our turkey in the cooler now we need to go find a beach to start a fire and get this thing roasting and uh, not get salmonella so let's go on our Thanksgiving extravaganza I'm filming putting the vest on. She keeps turning her butt towards the camera. Come on. Good girl. Beautiful. We made it. We got everything loaded to shore and stayed pretty dry. The only thing that didn't stay dry, stay dry is my shorts, um, which is why I have this little uh, Bob Barker style microphone. This long skinny microphone is a, is a fillet knife with my microphone on the end because my shorts are soaking wet. Um, so my microphone can't go there, but we made it. We're gonna set up. We're gonna show you guys around our Thanksgiving camp and invite you along and kind of show you the stupid rotisserie we made from Home Depot yesterday. So we have a whole Thanksgiving meal prepped uh, to cook. So we have the turkey, we have stuffing, we have potatoes, we have cranberry sauce, and we have croissants. We do, and we're probably gonna burn them and we're gonna undercook the things that need to be cooked and overcook the things that don't need to be. But it's beautiful out here, there's nobody around. We're on a beautiful tropical island, so hopefully if you're from Guam or not from Guam, uh, you can still enjoy this and enjoy Thanksgiving with us. Let's go look at our setup. I want to start off by welcoming you guys and under our shelter. Our shelter 
is a umbrella that we have jammed into the end of a piece of bamboo. I can't palm a basketball, uh, which is making palming this coconut to use it as a hammer uh, not very impressive. Smash that like button if you also can't palm a basketball. That will provide uh, nowhere near enough shade for our white bodies not to be pink after this, but the Heineken will solve the problem of being sunburned until tomorrow. So here is what we made. This is our Home Depot turkey rotisserie. We got a real small turkey. Um, it's only eight and a half pounds, so hopefully we can cook it on this rotisserie. We went and got these little, uh, this, this board was $3 from Home Depot, a uh, little one by two. We cut it in half, drilled some holes in it with the wrong size drill bit. That's why they're all wallered out. And then we put a piece of aluminum tubing through the middle. So all in all, this setup was about uh, $6 from Home Depot. And you say, well, how are you gonna turn your rotisserie? And if you'll notice, we have screws laid out here that I can tighten with my multi-tool every time I turn it and then loosen it and back them off depending on where it's at and uh, cook this bird on all sides. And we dug a pit underneath our uh, where we're going to place our charcoal so that oxygen can get to the fire. We don't know how long this is going to take. This little bird might cook on this rotisserie in one hour or four hours. We're not sure. So we want to make sure that uh, plenty of oxygen gets to our coals on our ramshackled uh, rotisserie here. So let's go ahead and get this turkey jammed into this spit. And first thing I'm going to do is baste it in the Pacific Ocean. I read everywhere you're not supposed to warm baste poultry. Uh, so <laughs> as this video progresses, you may see, see us get very sick, but I'm just going to warm baste it in the Pacific, get a little salt brine on it for like just a few minutes while our charcoal is preparing. So let's live dangerously folks and throw a turkey in the ocean. To enhance the fear factor, it is common knowledge that this lagoon that we're in is mildly polluted. EPA says it's polluted and you're not supposed to eat fish out of it. So why not dunk a turkey? And what's nice about having your microphone holder also be your fillet knife is that that's also what I'm gonna cut this turkey out of the bag and serve it with. So really think, right? <laughs> gotta think. <laughs> Mona has dug herself a nice cool sand pit to relax in. We've got the roasting spit set up and the fire is going, the charcoal is getting hot. And it's just really nice to finally have a relaxing video and not be fishing because, don't get me wrong, I love fishing, I love going out on the boat, but it's just been relentless and sort of torturous on some days going six, six eight hours on a boat that's just slapping. So to not have fishing in one video is so nice and it's so relaxing. Are you serious? What? I'm waiting for the charcoal. I can still have a family Thanksgiving and enjoy the charcoal. I'm right here. You guys are right there. It's the same thing. So beans, aka Mona, she'll get a little bit of turkey if and when it actually cooks. But until then, we went on theme and got her a rubber turkey, which she's a big fan of. Well, you can talk about the bands, barbecue, the band is showing and the people too, and do the mess So I don't associate being from the continental United States and a landlocked city, the ocean with Thanksgiving. But when you actually think about it, it was probably kind of a coastal, uh, coastal fiesta the first time they had it. So really this is kind of like getting back to, getting back to your roots because this was probably originally happened in Virginia 
and it was probably coastal. You know, they hadn't pushed inland very far yet, and they were starving to death. So this is kind of more traditional of a Thanksgiving than maybe what I've been experiencing my whole life. So maybe I'm wrong. Rarely, rarely, but maybe this time I'm wrong. For any of you squeamish about salmonella, <laughs> this is probably uncomfortable to watch. But don't worry, we have soap that I'm gonna wash off with. I know a lot of people save the neck for uh, soup and stuff. We're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna feed it back to the fish and put this thing back to nature, and I think it's disgusting, so. All right, time to warm water Pacific Ocean style brine this bird. Also, probably don't do this because this might make you sick. So our charcoal is nice and uh, cooked down and uh, pretty white. We don't smell lighter fluid anymore. Our turkey has been sitting out in the sun and nice and warm to the touch, just like it's supposed to be. Um, for reference, I have eaten day old roadkill uh, and roasted it over a campfire. As long as you cook things really, really well, um, it's usually pretty safe. So we're gonna make sure and cook this, this bird a little dry because she's been floating around in the ocean and laying on top of a hot cooler in the middle of the uh, equatorial sun. So let's go ahead and get this on the rotisserie, get going. When you think you have planned everything out for big trips like this where you can't go back for stuff, you still find that you missed something. Once we put the turkey on the rotisserie spit, we have nowhere to set down the turkey until the charcoal was ready. So we had to use the top of our cooler. And Chris is bathing it now with a bunch of Dawn dish soap to try to get any remnants of turkey juice off of it so that we can get the treasure inside, which is really nice ice cold Heinekens. When salmonella comes for me, we'll clean this off so we can get to the Heinekens. The Drake meme must have to die at some point. We can't, we can't keep living the Drake meme. It died out for a reason on the internet. It'll come back. It'll come back. I love Drake memes and I love Nickelback. I don't even like Nickelback ironically. It's Thanksgiving. I'm going to put some things out there because Thanksgiving's all about awkward family conversations. And right now, an awkward family conversation, I unironically like the band Nickelback. Full catalog, full stop. Ah! Ah! Yes. This is a rare bird here. This is an uh, American made, made in USA Gerber. They don't do a whole lot of that anymore. Kind of a little nostalgic thing from my childhood, but I thought I'd share. It's like walking a, watching a chimpanzee use a handsaw for the first time. Ooh, we've been waiting on this for about two, three hours. You know, here it's covered in sun, got the turkey up, everything desalmonellalized. Time to have a Thanksgiving brew, and I hope you're enjoying one with us. Or a Thanksgiving chai latte tea, whatever you're drinking. Hope you're enjoying it with us on this beautiful holiday, and we're actually going to get it up in time for the appropriate holiday. I know a lot of you guys tune in to get our sweet recipes. Uh, whether we're putting ketchup on a Wahoo sandwich or we are cooking a salmonella uh, dinosaur out here on the spit. But we get a lot of flax and we don't season things right. And I always hear this, this meme, white people don't like seasoned food. White people don't season their food. Don't invite white people to a barbecue because you're gonna have some bland food. I'm gonna prove that that is a myth. I have right here in my hand, paprika and it's going on this turkey. White people don't like spice. 
get out of here. trying to enjoy a little bit of our time here and crash a drone um i let the fire get too hot and i've burned some of this cotton twine through now we put two on because you know one is none and two is one is none and two is one um so that saved us from losing our turkey into the coals but uh, we're gonna have to take this okay well that and the aluminum pole that is going to the turkey saved it from going into the fire i wasn't thinking at that point but the twine locks into the pole when it twists and allows when you turn the pole that it grabs the turkey and twists it and in my head i saw those twines getting burned and i thought that the turkey was going to fall into the fire because i was uh not thinking properly so. but uh, we're gonna have to take this off and go ahead and wrap it up again and uh, try to keep the heat down a little bit Typically when we're trying to check the temperature of things on this channel, it's usually a, a wooden stick or a chopstick or a wooden spoon being put into oil. But uh, we got some classy digital thermometer. Chris got it uh, probably months ago. And now this has come in handy because there's not really a way to know if this turkey's done with a wooden stick because it's not gonna bubble. All right, we are currently at 132. So that's not too bad. The outside is really crisping up. This is basically a, a dry rub, but when we were putting on this new string, there was a lot of um, crispy sounding skin. So I think this might turn out better than we thought it would. Our turkey's about done. We have seemed to have avoided catastrophe all day. Uh, we got a cookie sheet here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some sweet Hawaiian crescent rolls on underneath the turkey. Maybe they'll drip up some of the juices, who knows. We're gonna go ahead and get those ready and some stuffing and some potatoes and it's about time to eat. So let's go ahead and get this and see if we can keep all the sand out of this biscuit dough. I doubt it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I don't know why every time a can of biscuit dough pops, I feel like I need to make Ric Flair sounds. Maybe because he's from North Carolina, I'm from North Carolina. I don't know. That is sand. I'm gonna wipe the sand off onto my shirt, which is covered in salt water. It's good, it's good. Set of Candy Adventures is gonna be cooking with candy. Pacific Ocean brine turkey, sandy hand covered crescent roll folding. You're as hungry as I am. Go ahead and saddle up. And just like always, we have a new motto here at Candy Adventures, partly crispy, partly juicy. Or like they used to call me in college, Sandy Turkey. Sounds dirty. Okay, we are running low on water, but the potatoes that we brought are the canned potatoes, which come with water and we need water for our stuffing. Uh, it's still not enough water for the cup and a half that we're required to use for the box. So we're gonna compensate with beer for the other portion. Uh, so we're just gonna cook the potatoes and the stuffing together in the same pot because we only have one. All right. Just like my mom makes at home. Box stuffing. It is delicious and it's pretty cheap. And then we're supposed to add butter and we didn't want to bring butter either. So we just have olive oil. Little schmutz. Okay. And then this goes over the fire as well with our croissant rolls that are cooking right now.
All right, that is a teeny tiny little cooked up bird. This bird was only eight and a half pounds, so it's just about chicken size, but it's just two of them. Well, three, any baby just, well, three, because Mona's gonna get some, some. All right, let's platter that up. Ooh, I won't say it looks good, but I'm hungry. We hadn't eaten all day. Uh, we cooked this for just about exactly three hours. And we burned a 20 pound bag of charcoal. And I think most of that heat went to the atmosphere. So we got our little bird cooked up. Let's dive in and have Thanksgiving together. We used a uh, cotton twine from Home Depot. It's not for cooking, but it's 100% cotton with no dyes or chemicals in it. So hopefully, um, so hopefully this cotton twine didn't impart any chemicals in here because it said 100% cotton and a manufacturer I don't think would ever lie to you about anything. What reason would somebody producing something have any reason to tell you not the truth? I won't even use the word lie. I mean, yes, we did spend money on it, so money was made, but <laughs> making money is not a good reason to tell a lie. Come on, I'm not stupid. Now we just got to take off the layers of um, wine. Got 50 shades of turkey going on here, covered in string. Is that a bondage joke? Yes. <laughs> bondage for all those moms out there, middle-aged moms that like PG-13 bondage. Okay. Some sides look really good. All right, so let's cut this bird up. While you do that, I'm gonna serve the beer stuffing and potatoes. The most incredible thing is that it's not raw. Parts are crispy, but that's okay. All right. Mmm. You just sit here and watch us eat. What's those, uh... <laughs> mukbang. Japanese, so yeah, mukbang. You just sit here and watch us eat. Mukbang. We have good ocean ASMR going right now as well. So mm. for... Is it good? <laughs> the stuffing's good. Ooh. Oh, we got crescent rolls back here. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Actually, that is very good. Not just bullshitting for the camera because no, we do that actually, a lot. This is actually pretty good. It's no, actually le legitimately, this is legitimately very good. We can't forget the third member of our channel, which is beans, peaches, Mona. So she gets a little Thanksgiving turkey as well, and maybe a little bit of stuffing. She hasn't eaten all day either, and we're gonna be pretty late getting back for her supper. Dog ASMR. You should like the stuffing. If we bullshit for the camera, we would never put failure up on our channel. <laughs> That's like literally all we put up. But to be on theme with Thanksgiving, usually during our Thanksgiving dinner, we have some like go-to movies or like TV show Thanksgiving episodes that we really like. So we won't even discuss the number one best Thanksgiving themed piece of media of all time and that's Planes, Trains and Automobiles with Steve Martin and John Candy. <laughs> May he rest in peace. R.I.P. We started this channel like three years ago. It's also our channel anniversary of three years. And if you see this video all the way back here, we're watching Planes, Trains and Automobiles on Thanksgiving in California. Now we are here in planes, trains, and automobiles on the phone behind you because we're going to watch that because you have to on Thanksgiving. Um, and that's three years, so we'd like to thank everybody that's been around. I know some of you guys have been around for three years for all of it. We've lost subscribers, gained subscribers, but for those of you who've been around, thank you so much for everybody new that's sticking around when we take two-month depression and uh, occupational hiatuses. hiatuses and we still come back. We'd like to, we're very thankful for everybody that watches um, all this nonsense. Um, about as mushy as I'm going to get. 
as much as this stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> I know other people's go-tos for Thanksgiving is, um, it's like Charlie Brown. Apple. <laughs> I never grew up with Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I grew up with Charlie Brown for um, Halloween though. It was like the only VHS Charlie Brown tape that my parents had and it was like Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. That's the only Charlie Brown I ever grew up with and it was fine. It's not really like a go-to or doesn't really drive nostalgia for me. One, the Great Pumpkin is Halloween. <laughs> Two, I think Charles Schultz, I know he is a go-to name in like animation comic strips and I just don't like it. I don't like the art style. I don't like the jokes. I don't like how Lucy always pulls the football. I don't no. like I don't like any of it. You don't like the like weird mouth squiggles? No, I don't like anything. Only thing I like is how the teachers and parents talk in Snoopy, that's it. Uh, and any, any of the Peanuts cartoons. Um, but what is some modern classics is Modern Family. I may not seem like mm. the guy that, who likes Modern Family. I'm not maybe the demographic. I think that's the best written show of the last 10 years. It goes to Office, then the Modern Family, and they transition one into the other. So we're gonna probably go back and watch all the Modern Family specials after we finish watching Planes, Trains, and Automobiles in the camera that you cannot see. But we'd really like to know, what do you guys like? Would you guys have any Thanksgiving traditions? Or some of our audience doesn't even do Thanksgiving. That's true. I mean, we have, um, shout out to Dave, David in Canada. He doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, but he watches our stuff all the time. Um, what do you do in Canada? I guess uh, not Thanksgiving. Do you, what do you guys think? Do you like the Queen's birthday? Do you, do you stay thankful for the Queen's birthday? Because you're still part of the monarchy? <laughs> Stop smirking. <laughs> no, nah, but just kidding. But we are thankful for everybody who leaves a comment, mm -hmm. watches, likes, um, shares on WhatsApp or Facebook. Um, but we're very thankful for all that because we disappeared for a long time, but we're back. And just as, I won't say better than ever or strong as ever, because that's a... That's not true. Nope. But uh, still still trying to pump out stuff regardless of motivation. And a can-do attitude. Can-be attitude. Woo! <laughs> Can-de attitude. Um, also sounds like you probably don't want to put it in your safe search filter, but maybe that's a piece of good, <laughs> some good sticker ideas. The can-de attitude. As long as it has an E, uh, not like can dash D. Yeah. Woo! Ric Flair woo. <laughs> Is he really from North Carolina? I think so. I think his son, I think his son, we wrestled against the team that his son was on. I think at some point I remember hearing Ooh. about in a tournament or something. I think. All right, but we're going to knock this turkey back and we're so excited that we, we get to have a, a, a holiday themed episode that actually goes up on the appropriate holiday because our Halloween episode was a month late. So hopefully this one goes up and we can all enjoy Thanksgiving together. It wasn't really our fault for the Halloween one going up late. It's we, never we our tried. fault. It's never our fault. <laughs> no. It's always someone else's fault. That's how I bottle things up inside. No. It's not my fault. It's everyone else's fault. No, no, no. It's out of control. It is, it is the luck of mother nature. Not could have really tried earlier. I don't know. All right, so that sun's going down. This turkey's going down. We're gonna pack all this stuff up, get back on the boat, head back home. But thanks everybody for sticking around. We got another video coming out next week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Cheers, hugs and kisses, X's and O's. Turkey's got a nice Pacific tang to it. No, I don't mean specific. I really mean Pacific. After we brined it in the Pacific Ocean, it's got a certain de je ne sais quoi about it, if you will. Bon Mariana's trench turkey just hits different, fam. Just hits different. This is it dope? This, this, this Mariana's trench Pacific basted turkey is lit. It's dope. Dope AF. <laughs> <laughs>